When I found out about the Works Maker X line of multi-tools, I was really excited. Works giving me a free set to review may have just pushed me over the edge. They sent me the WX988 Maker Combo Kit, which comes with a rotary tool, a soldering iron, and uses the same battery pack as all the Works tools that I use. Which is fantastic, as I already have a whole bunch of Works tools, and I really do like them. Ok, let's open the box. As always, Works give you some pretty good instructions, I'll definitely read these. A box for all the tool bits, fantastic. There's polishers, cutters, diamond birds, and even some sanding tools and grinders. Nice little starter kit with most of the average stuff the average crafter needs there. I'm already fairly stocked on bits though. A battery which has a little charge. Worth mentioning, you can also buy the bare tools without the battery and charger, which is probably what I should do. The charger of course, this thing charges a standard battery in about an hour. I already have about five of these, they're massive, but a smaller one is available if you want to consider making this a little bit of a travel tool. And the rotary tool, we'll take a look at that in a bit. The soldering iron and some tips, and some wood burning bits for it. We'll check that out properly in a bit too. Oh, and underneath here is a lovely second layer of chocolates. Oh, no, well, that's, that's not disappointing at all. But I guess this is probably the most important part, the main drive thingy-mabob. Pops into the battery nice and simple, and really light and really small even with the battery, so it's potentially good for an everyday carry, camping gear, or even searching for the lost ark. And there's a good 1.2 meter long cable on here, and it looks like it's braided too, so it should last even if you accidentally nick it with your tool. So let's properly check out the rotary tool. It uses a 3-pin DIN style connector that's keyed so you can't plug it in incorrectly. The rotary tool, much like many of the others out there, has a button so you can lock the spindle to change the tool, and a little chuck and collet. It looks like it fits the fairly standard 3.2mm or 1 8 bits that most tools take. Sadly it doesn't fit my Dremel collets due to the inside diameter of the tube, but the thread however is the same as a Dremel, so you could use one of their little mini Jacobs chucks or switch out the collar. Bits only need to be hand tightened, but there's a flat on the chuck of course, and a little spanner included to give it some extra grip if you need it. It says in the manual, it does 5000 to 35000 RPM, which is again what you expect for this type of tool, and the speed is controlled from this little knob here. The power button releases the hounds. No, it turns the thing on and off obviously. Let's try it out. Oh, it's talky. Look at it jump in my hand there. Not surprising, there's a nice brushless motor inside that's pretty powerful for its size. It's light and comfortable to hold too. It's a shame it doesn't have a speed controller or even an on-off controller on the tool itself, as you would normally be holding something in one hand and the tool in the other. Now, this is probably a feature I would pay more for if they had it available. I also suspect this won't be as powerful as my Fordham for by a long shot, but it's not meant to compare with a tool like that, so I can imagine if you don't already have a soldering iron, or maybe you've got a small desk as your maker area, this could be a really, really nice system, but where it really shines is taking it out on the go. You could take it camping, or just out into the garden, or really anywhere you like. Oh, I can just imagine now, child playing on the trampoline, wife bringing me a pims in the summer while I do some carving on a, in the garden in a nice hot sunny day. Now, before I get carried away, let's give the soldering a go. It's not just a soldering iron, I might add, it comes with some adapters that turn it into a little wood burning tool, it comes with a few different shapes of nibs. Sadly, they do seem to use a different thread size to the standard Weller bits, but still this is pretty nifty. The soldering iron tip it comes with is pretty good, but it doesn't seem to fit my standard Antex or Weller or TS100 bits, and works don't seem to currently do a spare. Hopefully this is something they will do, as without them this only thing is only going to last as long as the tip. Oh, and it comes with a little stand too, that's nice. Turning it on does need another push of the button on the tool itself, which is a nice little safety feature. And it heats up pretty fast. It has a small display like most modern irons showing the temperature, and it, you can adjust it anywhere from 200 to 480 degrees C. It also comes with what looks like a silicon sheath for extra protection, so I better pop that on. Bit fiddly to do, but worth it as you can hold the iron for a lot longer cools down from that 480 degrees C in about 10 minutes so it can be cold enough to touch the end again. Swapping the bits out is as simple as unscrewing the bit, being careful with the heating element, and sliding one of the attachments with the tip screwed on. 
Nice. So, it's a nice day. Let's take this outside. Here's a little soldering project I've been putting off for ages. Suddenly, the motivation to finish it while I sit in the sun with the birds chirping away, it's not so bad. It's a plug that needs adding to the transformer so I can test out some LED panels. Could do with a smaller tip, but this is pretty good. Now, a little rotary tool project. Maybe something really simple like a little wood carving. best work, but probably the most relaxing power carving I've ever done. Nobody show this to M&S though, okay? Let's do a rock as well, why not? That's a pretty rock. So, my final thoughts on this tool system. Would I take it on an archaeological expedition? Well, some of the downsides are the incompatibility of other tools or lack of spares. This is no biggie. The rotary tool would accept any 3mm bit that you can think of, and it wouldn't stop me from buying one if I needed to. It's no replacement for a dedicated soldering iron or professional power carving tool like the Fordham, but it's not trying to be, and it works really well. I love that I could put my more powerful battery on and carve away for a few hours. I love that I don't have to clean up my mess by carving outside. So thank you Works for sending me this, I think the summer especially is going to get a lot of good use. And the Maker X system is out now on Amazon, I've popped some affiliate links in this video description below so please check them out and if you do end up buying one, I get a tiny cut of the sale and you don't pay any more. Win win. If you have any questions for me or Works on the product, please pop them in the comments below and as always I'll try to get around to answering every comment. And if you like this video, why not look at one of the videos here, freshly picked by the YouTube algorithm. Go on, treat yourselves.